God is omnipresent, which means he's everywhere at the same time, which also means that the same glory of God that I feel right where I am is the same anointing. <laughs> it's the same anointing. It's the same glory that's with you right where you are. Take the next few seconds and just bask in the presence of the Lord, thinking of his goodness, thinking of his kindness, thinking of his greatness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are so wonderful. You are so amazing, God. You are a mighty God. You're a great God. You've done so many great things in our lives. You've done so many marvelous things in our lives. And we're just grateful, Lord. Thank you for life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for health. Thank you for joy unspeakable and full of glory. Thank you for giving us divine insight and giving us protection, Lord God, from the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We honor you. We worship you. We thank you, oh God, for without you, we would be nothing. Without you, we wouldn't be alive right now. With all the trouble and destruction in the world, Father, we rejoice and we worship you and we praise you now. For without you, oh God, we would not have a reason to live. We don't have a reason to move. God, it's because of you that we are still here. After all that we've been through, Lord God, we can rejoice about the fact that we still have joy because your hand is on our life. And when your hand, oh God, is on our lives, nothing can stop us from being blessed. Thank you for your goodness. And Father, we thank you right now, oh God, for this opportunity to come before you, oh God. Oh Lord, we do thank you for being the great God that you are. But Father, we thank you that we even have the opportunity to call you our Father, and that you call us your child. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for this moment, for the privilege to lay before you in your presence, honoring you, and coming before you with our needs. Lord God, I pray right now, God, for every man and every woman, under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that has yielded themselves to this moment of prayer, that have connected their faith with mine, Lord God, believe in you for a miracle. Lord God, you know what these your precious people need the most. And Father, I ask you to show up on their behalf. Show up and be on their side. Show up, oh God, in their home. Show up, oh God, right where they are, Lord God. Let your Shekinah presence, your presence that manifests itself in miracles, let it reveal itself, Lord God, right where they are right now. God, there's some listening to me and they need a miracle in their physical body. I pray for their health right now and in the name of Jesus, that you would heal them in their body from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Father God, inside and out, we decree and declare that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals them in their bodies. Father God, give them strength in their bones. Give them strength in their bones even now. Where they cannot stand, give them strength to stand. Where they cannot move, oh God, give them strength to move. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Oh God, purify and clean their blood, oh God. Oh God, go through their system, all throughout their body, God. If there be anything, oh God, in their physical body that is not like you and it did not come from you, Father, we decree and declare that they are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Give them strength, give them strength. Divine strength in the name of Jesus. Divine healing in the name of Jesus. Father God, that sickness has to go. That devil of sickness has to leave in the mighty name of Jesus. Then the next time they visit their doctor to get a report, Father, I thank you that the report will change and the report will be in their favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I decree and declare that they are healed, they are delivered, and they are free right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, begin to thank God for your healing right now. You are healed now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray for those that are believing you. Oh, God, for miracles in their family. There's some, oh God, that are praying for their marriage. There's some, oh God, that are praying even in their singleness. There's some, oh God, that are believing you for a breakthrough right now. 
and I decree and declare that the breaking is taking place in their family. Lord, bless their family beyond measure. Bless their family beyond measure. Let their family be carriers of your goodness. Let their family be carriers of your strength. Let their family be carriers of your glory. Let their family be carriers of your promise. In Psalm 112, verse number 3, that wealth and riches shall live in their house forever. Not poverty, not lack, not weakness, not separation, not, not oh God, those things that come from the enemy. But Father, I thank you that all of heaven's blessings are living in their house right now. They're living in their house right now. That according to your word in Deuteronomy 28 and 12, that you would open to them your good storehouse. You would open to them your treasures that are in heaven and you will release rain to them in their season. You will release rain to their house. You will release rain to their land. You will release rain, oh God, to their household. And I thank you right now, God, that as you promised in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 28, verse number 12, you would bless the works of their hand. So Father, I pray that everything that their hands touch in their home, let that thing be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare it so. Their home is blessed. Their home is blessed. Their property is blessed. Everything under their roof is covered. Father God, their property is surrounded by angels. Their marriage is blessed. Their children are blessed. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, that no destruction will come nigh them. That no weapon formed against their household. No weapon formed against their family, no weapon formed against their relationships, no weapon formed against their marriages, no weapon formed against their children, no weapon formed against their singleness, oh God their heart, no weapon formed against them shall ever be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we declare it so, that every household represented in this time of prayer is covered under the blood, and they're surrounded by your angels, it may look like they're surrounded by trouble, it may look like they're surrounded by calamity, it may look like the vicissitudes of life have come against their bloodline, have come against their generation, but we decree and declare that every weapon that has been formed against the family, oh God every mountain that has been built up against every family, that mountain is crushed, it's broken, it's destroyed, and we cast that mountain into the sea, right now in the name of Jesus, come on, begin to thank God for the fact that your family is blessed, your marriage is blessed, your children are blessed every generation that follows you is blessed. Oh, your distant relatives are covered under this anointing because of your faith. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost and thank God for the blessing that's on your family. Reba Kavahaya, Rapa Tarabahandi, Rapa Karaba Saragis, Rataba Kashata Rabaya, Idaba under the Boshata, Yetaraba Shotoro Bokuda. In the name of Jesus, your family is blessed. And now, God, we thank you, oh God, for the financial blessings that will begin to flow for these your precious people. I thank you, Lord God, that lack does not live in their life. Poverty is dead in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus, you declared in your word in Proverbs 10 and 22 that the blessing of the Lord, it maketh one rich and addeth forth no sorrow with it. Philippians 4.19 declares that you, O God, shall supply all of their need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And so, Father God, I thank you right now for financial miracles that will begin to flow, financial miracles that will begin to be released. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of prosperity that rests, rules, and abides on these your precious people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, there are many, God, that are praying for opportunities. They're praying for open doors. They're praying for opportunities. They're praying for promotion. They're praying for opportunities. They're praying for advancement. They're skilled. They've studied. They've prepared. But it seems like certain doors just won't open. Oh God, they've studied. And God, 
they've pressed forward and they've been faithful in the workplace but it seems like there's a blockage that's standing in between them and their wealth flow father we decree and declare right now that every wall that is standing in between their millions every wall that is standing in between their wealthy place every wall that has blocked them from getting into their financial flow of favor father we rebuke those walls right now in the name of Jesus and we come against those blockages right now in the name of the Lord Jesus we decree and declare that that devil of lack has to go that demon of poverty has to go that distraction of not enough has to go for you oh God are a God of more than enough in the name of Jesus Christ we pray you declared in your word that if we obey you and if we serve you and as we sow our seeds of faith you said that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing for us that we would not have room enough to receive so father God I speak into the lives of every one of my prayer partners right now and I decree and declare that the windows of heaven are open 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 and yes Lord God according to your will and according to your promise and according to your plan because they have obeyed and served you and because oh God they responded to your call God we yield to you oh God and we ask you oh God to let the blessings begin to flow let the blessings begin to flow like rain oh God from heaven let the blessings begin to flow like showers of blessings that we cannot contain let the blessings begin to flow in the mighty name of Jesus Father God I thank you Lord God that debts are being paid I thank you Lord God that debts are even being canceled in the mighty name of Jesus I thank you Lord God for providing for these your precious people for we know oh God that our faith is the intangible tool oh God that produces tangible provision so right now in the name of Jesus we decree and declare provision from on high provision will flow from the north provision will flow from the south provision will flow from the east provision will flow from the west father thank you Lord God that your favor for their finances will flow like a river a never ending river that will flow that will flow that will flow in the mighty name of Jesus let financial miracles flow like a river let miracle money come from out of nowhere Lord God father you have a way of showing up at the right time you have a way of using the right people to provide open doors for us that we may have opportunities oh God to advance and opportunities oh God to be promoted opportunities Lord God to have financial increase so father God I call on those angels oh God the angels of prosperity the angels of overflow the angels of increase show up in their lives right now in the mighty name of Jesus let that promise come to pass that wealth and riches shall live in their house let that promise come to pass that you shall supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory let that promise come to pass that your blessings oh God shall make every man listening to me and every woman listening to me rich and there shall be no sorrow with it and father we decree and declare Lord God that we will not forget about you for you said in your word in Deuteronomy 8 and 18 that we should not forget you oh God for you are the one who giveth us wealth you are the one that give us a, giveth us increase and so father God we thank you for it right now in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for more than enough <laughs> we thank you for more than enough Lord God thank you Lord God for more than enough thank you that we will have too much <laughs> thank you Lord God that our testimony will be that you've done too much you've released the overflow and we'll have to give it away we'll have to bless this one we'll have to bless that one we'll be philanthropists for the kingdom thank you Lord God that you will use us as the proof that you are still prospering people that you are still releasing the anointing for wealth you are still releasing the anointing for increase thank you Lord God that as we give and as we sow our seeds of faith our harvest will come quickly for we decree and declare that it won't be long oh God it won't be long it won't be long before we see the harvest it won't be long before we see the overflow it won't be long oh God 
Shatarabakaya. Oh God, it won't be long before we find ourselves flowing in our millions, flowing in our millions, flowing in our millions. In the name of Jesus, we will not have a need, for every need will be met. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord, that settlements are coming through. Thank you, Lord, that lawsuits are falling in their favor. Thank you, Lord God, that money that's been held up, it's being discovered and it's being released. Money that's been owed to these, your precious people, it's being paid for and it's being released in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for scholarships going forth for those that are in school right now. Oh God, thank you that mortgages are being approved for people that are believing God for homes. Thank you, Lord, that vehicles are being released for those that are believing for vehicles. Thank you, Lord, that health and medical expenses are being paid and they're being accounted for. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, that tax bills, oh God, are being canceled, are being erased, are being provided for. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. I thank you, Lord God, that lawsuits against these, your precious people, are being dropped in their favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that inheritances are being released. Oh God, battles, oh God, that they're fighting with family members and friends. Oh God, these inheritances are being released in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for uncovering what's been owed to these, your precious people, so that they can receive what belongs to them and they can live their days in pleasure. Father, you declared in your word in Psalm 35 and 27 that you take pleasure in the prosperity of your servants. You're not mad when we're blessed. You're not angry when we prosper, but your word declares that you take pleasure when we prosper. So I decree and declare that for every person under the sound of my voice, under this anointing of this prayer right now, Father, I decree and declare that they will live in the best. They will drive the best. They will wear the best. They will eat the best. Your blessings will overtake them. Goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for releasing that anointing. Thank you, Lord God, for releasing that glory. Thank you, Lord God, for releasing that kingdom power. And oh God, as they lean in on this prayer, they will begin to feel your presence. They will begin to feel your glory. You declared in your word through the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 60 verse number one, that we should arise, arise, arise. Oh, arise, shine, for our light has come and your glory has risen among us. Thank you for your glory, Lord. Hey, glory be to God right where you are I want you to begin to thank him for his glory thank him for his goodness thank him for the blessings that we declared thank him for being Jehovah Rapha the one who will heal you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet not only is God healing your body but he's even healing your heart I decree and declare that every broken piece of your heart Jehovah Rapha is healing your heart and he's putting your heart back together thank you Lord God thank Jehovah Shalom the God who bringeth peace, for he's bringing peace to your home. Your house is going to have joy again. Your house is going to have an overflow of love again. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, begin to praise God right now for the blessing of the Lord that's being released on your family right now in the name of Jesus. And come on, thank God for being Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. Thank him right now. Come on, give him praise for the fact that lack will not live in your life. Give him praise for the fact that you'll never be broke another day in your life. Praise Him right now for the fact that prosperity is getting ready to overflow, overflow, overflow. God is enlarging your territory and He's increasing your capacity right now. Come on, we pray this prayer, Lord God, thanking you in advance that everything that we prayed in this prayer, oh God, it shall come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless the rest of their day. Bless the rest of their day. Bless the rest of their week. Bless the rest of their year. And Father, we decree and declare that from this moment moving forward we are carrying the anointing we are carrying the glory everybody around us will know that we've been in your presence in the name of Jesus as we declare no weapon formed against us shall ever be able to prosper and every tongue that should rise against us in judgment it is condemned it is cast down I decree and declare even as we begin to come to the end of this prayer I declare that every negative word spoken over these your precious people it is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, I pray, we decree and declare that even as the enemy would try to attack these your precious people after they've been in this moment of prayer and in this time of basking in your presence, I thank you, Lord, that the enemy will not have authority. 
for their bodies, their minds are not fashioned for the enemy's presence. But God, we declare that their body, their mind, their hands, everywhere that they go, everywhere that they walk, oh God, their atmosphere has been designed for your presence and Satan has no authority. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. We decree and declare that we are more than conquerors. They are more than conquerors. Greater is he who is in them than he that is in this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We thank you for miracles. We thank you that this is our season for good news. This is our season <laughs> for good news. Glory to God. Good news is coming concerning their health. Good news is coming concerning their relationships. Good news is coming concerning their career. Good news is coming concerning their ministry. Good news is coming concerning their finances. Thank you for the shift that's taking place in their life and the elevation that's taking place in their life right now. We ask all these things in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. We believe it so now in Jesus' name. We rejoice about it now in Jesus' name. We praise you in advance in Jesus' name. And we decree and declare that we are victorious. We are alive. We are winning and not losing. We are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen come on begin to thank god for his goodness right now just praise him praise him give him glory hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord jesus come on thank him for his goodness thank him for his love thank him for the fact that he heard our prayer and he will incline his ear to hear us and answer us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see you making progress. I said, I see you making progress. I see you advancing. I see you moving forward. I see you prospering beyond measure. I see you standing tall. I see you rising high. When your enemies want to see you sink, I see you soaring in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, we declare it so now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Go, go and carry this anointing. Carry this anointing to prosper with you. Carry this anointing to prosper with you. Others will see and others will know. Carry this anointing. You're blessed. And remember, every day of your life is a day of victory.